Hi, I'm Paul Lambert. Please subscribe to the Upswitch Fan Zone. Welcome back guys. So yeah, had a week off this week. Um, what do you call it? February holidays with the kids. So yeah, I've been off doing bits and pieces. So sorry there's not been much content, but weekend's here. Another game this week. Wigan away this time. So firstly, I just want to mention about the complimentary tickets that got dropped down to me. Um, those were distributed fairly, so I've done a, a prize draw and we, we did have a winner. Um, so one lucky person is on their way to uh, Wigan this weekend, long old drive, but let's hope Town can get the three points for that. Um, I've heard a lot going on this week, to be fair. As you probably seen from the intro there, you saw Paul Lambert. Um, I did get the chance to have a word with Paul Stewart, uh, Stuart Taylor that is, Jim Henry and Leo Neal this week. Talked about lots of things and talked about the channel as well. So, um, yeah. As far as it goes, uh, there's a number of things that are going on, but I've also been busy um, elsewhere. Um, I've had an offer from Playmaker FC. It's a website who um, who show a lot of fan content. Uh, works they work with the likes with um, the the likes of Fogden and uh, Match Day with Max, huge vloggers in the uh, footballing industry, and. Um, yeah, I, I'll give you the next one. So I've got a contract. They sent me for a contract that I can look at. And um, yeah, with regards to that, um, I'm, I'm probably going to steam ahead with that. And, uh, you know, the content that comes from Ipswich Fan Zone and, and speaking to you guys is now going to be made available to 26 million people per video. So every time I do post something after a match, it's going to go out to not only the Ipswich Town fans that subscribe to my channel, but the the fans all over the country that are linked to Playmaker FC. So that is huge, not only for the channel, but for Ipswich fans all over the world. So, <clears throat> another thing, next week, Tuesday night, I've got the uh, night to remember Kevin Beatty. Um, been in contact with Malcolm Thompson with regards to that. I will be covering that, so hopefully we'll get to speak to a few influential people and Malcolm himself with regards to all the hard work they've done to uh, remember Kevin Beatty, not only the the one and only legend himself, but um, contributions towards the statue that um, have been in and around um, yeah, local chats recently. So um, <clears throat> apart from that, what else can we talk about? Oh yeah, we've got a game tomorrow, yes. Away to Wigan in the championship. Now, Wigan away, massive game. Uh, town come off the back of a, a good draw, well, a good draw against Derby, and then um, potentially a lucky draw against Stoke. Uh, we, we shot ourselves in the foot with uh, with the uh, the first goal that we conceded against Stoke the other day, but um, we fought back in the end. And uh, Will, you know, Will Keane showed up and uh, buried a header in the ninth minute. And to be honest, um, there was a part of me that was a bit disappointed. To be fair. Um, Stoke was a good chance to actually push forward for a win and they were there for the take and let's just look at the actual opportunity Stoke had. They had no, a number of opportunities but never looked like scoring. It was not until we put the ball actually in the net for them that they could score a goal. And you look at the two teams, the qualities, there wasn't much between them and you know, Stoke, you could argue, were a team that were likely to go up this season and, and Town were a team that, uh, uh, you know, ironically bottom of the league and, and struggling to get points but it's still mathematically possible to stay in the division now I, I know I give a bit of a varied opinion with regards to staying up and going down but my my opinion is the likelihood of going down weighs itself against staying up so if we were to stay up what would you know it would it be bad would it be good in my opinion it would be bad if Town stayed up because then we would continue to ignore the problems that this club has. Now, if we went down, we'd have a chance to rebuild not only on the pitch, but more importantly, off the pitch. And that brings me nicely onto what, uh, what's been going on with the club recently um, with regards to Paul Lambert and, and, and how things have, uh, have gone 
on and off the pitch with him. Now Lambert's, you know, actively tried to uh, to rebuild the club with, from within, uh, with the likes of Leo Neil and, and his coaching staff. Um, they're doing the best they can to uh, reignite the flame inside of this club's heart. Um, what we can do as fans is just adhere to that. But Marcus Simmons has also taken more of a hands-on approach to interacting with the fans. And we saw, obviously, um, a few weeks ago, uh, um, a number of fans were invited to hospitality over the next few home games um, in the suites. And that's, that's to do with away fans that travel a lot um, across the country to watch the club. And that is phenomenal because the amount of travelling these fans have to do on a weekly basis is incredible. And I'll take my hat off to him because I wouldn't do it every every single week. Um, I mean, if I had the option, yes, I would. But, you know, financially, it's, it's hard for me to even get to home games at times. So those fans, you know, take my hat off to them. Absolutely amazing. And they deserve everything they get. Now, season ticket holders, um, you, you will find an email sitting in your, your email box linked with your Ipswich Town season ticket that will invite you to the fan zone prior to... Uh, the game at home against Nottingham Forest. Now you'll get a free pint and a free pie. Um, as far as that goes, that that's a lot of money that the club have put into that. Um, I think it's eleven thirty start, eleven thirty for a twelve twelve pm start. Um, I'm hoping to be there. Um, I contacted the club to ask if I can come and speak with a few of you with regards to what you want to see from the club over the next few seasons. Um, Depend on the situation that we're in. We're talking three games, quite three games away now. It'll probably become ultimately clear whether the town will be in the championship next season or not over the next two, three, four games. So, in that sense, um, I think we need to keep open-minded at this point in time. But let's let's have a look at Wigan in a bit more detail. So, tomorrow, today, for those who are watching on Saturday, um, we have Wigan away. Um, Wigan have lost their last three games against Ipswich Town but ironically this season they've not been doing too badly considering their position coming up from League One um, something Town would like to emulate if they were in that position next season now uh, last five games have lost two drawn two and won one game and that was against QPR at home in a 2-1 victory but they have failed to score in 14 fixtures this season now uh, for Wigan fans, at this moment in time, you know they would consider themselves in a relegation battle if they were to lose to Ipswich tomorrow. Now, I can understand that, but to an extent, Town have lost, you know, their last seven games away from home. Whether or not they're difficult, that's not a run that we've we've emulated since August 1995. So it's a difficult period of time for Ipswich Town. Um, however, the football may not be that bad we are being beaten by sides so tomorrow's game could go any way in my opinion now i'm not going to predict the result i never do um purely because it's a respect thing i respect sides i respect the way that they come into the game and i respect what they do and i also respect town as well i'm not going to put them out there on that pitch and expect them to perform in a certain way but it would be nice to see a win away from home this season now <clears throat> Apart from Swansea, obviously. Now, there's a number of things I want to talk about with regards to the squad um, in the, the last week. Now, there's a big one. Um, Nelson and Pennington have been holding up the uh, the back four in, in centre-back position uh, for the last two games. And we haven't lost. We've taken away two points. We could have taken away more, potentially four, over the last two games. Now, Chambers and Collins, their fitness is questionable, but they may be fit for Wigan tomorrow. Now, given that their fitness is actually not a question anymore and that they are fit for tomorrow, would you have them come straight back into the squad? Now, Albert Knudsen's header back to Bartosz Bielkowski was nowhere near his uh, goal line on uh, Saturday. Can we say that Knudsen's played badly? And can we say that Pennington's done enough to be ousted out of the squad in replacement of Collins? Because I thought Pennington over the last two games has been absolutely brilliant. The thing is, with that, there is two players in Chambers and Collins that are arguably our most solid centre-backs. And them together, um, you know, 
I can remember Rotherham not too long ago, 1 0 win. They were absolutely sensational at the back. And Collins, that game, first game at Portman Road, what an appearance he had. But um, obviously, fitness is going to get the better of Collins. I think he's at the grand old age of 35 now. Uh, a player that is not going to get any younger. Um, a player that's probably going to just carry us through to the end of the season. Now, if he's fit, I'd throw him in. But at the expense of what player? I don't know. Could James Bree be dropped? I'm not sure. But Bree seemed to play well against Derby and against Stoke at the weekend. I don't think he warrants being dropped. And I think potentially Kenlock may be dropped to allow Nudson to move to the left-hand side. But we just don't know at this moment in time. We don't know what the squad's going to be for tomorrow. But in that sense, there's um, obviously the, the youngster Corey in, in Dabba has been in, been given a three-and-a-half-year deal. Um, a centre-back, a left-footed centre-back, who uh, Paul Lambert has mentioned this week we've had a number of now. I saw there was a report that Adam Webster was a left foot centre back. He was not at all. He was a right foot centre back. So we just take that one off, off the list. But um, we have let youngsters go in the past that um, you know are going to be doing well at the back. Um, it's nice to see that Luke Wolverton signed a, a new contract extension that will keep him at Portman Road beyond the end of this, well beyond of this season and the next. Um, he's a player I'd like to come into the back four. He certainly didn't look out of sorts against West Ham in pre-season. That may be a long time ago to some people, but that was probably his only game in which he could showcase his talent against uh, you know, top opposition, and he looked decent. Um, now, talk about Lambert as well. He's been given a two-match ban. That will obviously come in effect, um, into effect against Wigan tomorrow. Um, you know, Lambert, for, you know, for all his uh, worth, we will miss him. We will miss him on the touchline. Um, he's very active. He doesn't sit down. He, you know, he's he's potentially even the twelfth man for the players at times. So, be interested to see how the how the players react. But Trevor Chalabar's come out this week and said that they'll know what their job is, regardless of whether Lambert's on the touchline or not. And that's a good thing to hear. But we need to see that as well, obviously. Um, talk, talking with regards to Lambert's ban, he's also going to be out. Um, for the Reading game at home, which is obviously the cheap tickets game. And uh, as far as I'm aware, the ticket sales for that are going pretty well. So if you haven't got tickets and you do fancy going to see town at home in the near future, Reading's the one to go. It's £12 adults. I think it's £8 for under 23s. So don't miss out on that one. Um, to be honest, tomorrow's, tomorrow's a chance. We've got to take it. We've got to get three points. I've seen it reported recently, it's a crucial six-pointer, and it is, it's, it's not a lie. We've got to take three points against Wigan tomorrow, and we have got to take three points against Wigan at home. Yeah, Wigan are in the bottom five, but they're nowhere near relegation at the moment. Um, they could get sucked in if we were to grab a win, and other teams do better, but, you know, we need to take points where we can now. We cannot be complaining. We've got um, we've got some decent ties coming up. We've probably got an easy run in, in, in terms of um, taking points if you say if you were a mid-table side trying to push for the playoffs you look at the teams that we've got and you think yeah we can actually get a decent amount of points here but we've we've not had that luxury this season and maybe it's time we actually start getting points on the table now let's go off task for a minute and let's talk a bit about the um, the channel thank you for the huge response I've had this week it's ridiculous I posted it on Tuesday morning. I posted about 700 followers, um, 700 subscribers. Um, we are now literally within touch and distance of 800 subscribers in less than four days, which is a ridiculous response. So I want to thank you all personally. And I've said that um, on my Twitter page. I'm going to um, message you all individually as soon as you hit 1K. It gives me the makes the channel fully operational, it gives me the opportunity to speak to all of my subscribers, you know, one on one, um, which I don't have the opportunity to now. Um, but thank you and continue that great support. Um, Ipswich Fanzo is in its infancy at the moment. Um, it's it's going to continue to grow and, you know, hopefully in, you know, in good time, the, the club will endorse the channel and we'll go further together and we'll make this club great again. Now, Without you, this club means nothing. So please stick with a great support. Um, you know, I love my club, but we do make 
Ipswich Town Football Club. So don't forget that the club loves you and you need to be there for them and give them the support they need. And, you know, sing, shout, do whatever you can for the club, for the team, for everybody, to get everyone going. And let's just be, you know, if we do go down, let's all just go down together and hopefully we'll recover from that. Anyway, Wigan against Ipswich tomorrow, 3pm kickoff. Come on, you blues.